Joining me now is the Republican governor of Idaho, Brad Little. Governor, you and 25 other governors have created the American Governor's Border Strike Force. Okay, first of all, can you tell me what that's going to do? And secondly, why are you in it when Idaho is a long way from the border? Well, Stuart, just yesterday I was in Idaho Falls and the sheriff was showing me the logarithmic increase in fentanyl and meth coming into Idaho. And we know it's a direct connection to the border. Uh, two out of five of these pills have a lethal dose. And we are working with our fellow governors. Uh, we should be working with the federal government on trying to implement a coordination, cooperation, uh, a strike force uh, to try and do all we can to identify these traffickers. But what's on your screen right now, that is the diversion uh, that the cartels are using in Mexico to sneak around them this, these huge shipments of these illegal pills and methamphetamine. Uh, and this, what's on your screen is the diversion that the cartels are using to get these drugs into Idaho. We were down at the border a year ago, 10 of us, and we made uh, 10 governors, we made 10 recommendations. All of them, the president could do uh, with an executive order. And the only one uh, that is in place at all is Title 42. And you just heard the president say on your program, they're talking about unwinding Title 42. So because of the lack of action at the federal level, the states are happy to act. I, I honestly don't understand it, Governor, because the fentanyl problem is just awful and the border chaos is just awful for most people. I don't understand why the president and the Democrats just don't address this directly and do something about it. Why don't they do this? Well, I heard this morning they were going to collect some data. I got the data from the Idaho Falls, the Bonneville County Sheriff yesterday. We know that there's a tenfold every year. Uh, you know, it was 200 doses one year of these fentanyl pills. It was 2,000 doses the next year. We just, uh, uh, this week, we apprehended uh, 5,000 fentanyl pills. And you got to realize that out of those 5,000 fentanyl pills, 2,000 of them are lethal. There's 2,000 people in Idaho that are going to die if those pills all get distributed. In Idaho, I, and for whatever reason, I don't associate Idaho as a, as a heavy-duty fentanyl intake kind of place. That, that's a real surprise. Well, well I implemented Operation Esto Perpetua, uh, which is actually the, uh, the motto for the state of Idaho, which is let it be perpet uh, perpetual. But what we're trying to do is figure out how we can keep uh, the fentanyl out of Idaho. And then, of course, we're doing interdiction, we're doing sure. treatment, we're doing education. Uh, but the first thing we're doing is working with our fellow states uh, to cooperate together to try and stop uh, this drug smuggling. But it's all being done by the cartels. Yeah. The cartels are using those poor refugees and immigrants as a diversion to, to get their poison into the state of Idaho. Brad Little, the governor of Idaho, we wish you well with what you're doing there, sir. We're cheering you Thank on. You. Thank you very much, Gov. Thanks. See you later.